Hello, welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to talk about mammals. I know that you already know a lot about mammals because it's one of the most famous or maybe one of the most important groups of animals and you are very used to them. As you can see now, I have written a lot of different words, a lot of different animals. All of them are mammals, but as you can notice, all of them have have very different characteristics. However, something we can say about mammals is that they all breathe with lungs and most of them, be careful, only most of them are viviparous. Do you remember what viviparous are? Viviparous animals are the ones that have their offspring and they born from the mother's womb. However, we can talk about one very, very important characteristic about mammals. And for this reason is why all these animals, we can include it in the group of animals. This important characteristic is that females feed their babies, okay, their offspring, so feed their babies, their youngs, with milk. So all of the animals that we can consider them mammals is because they follow these important characteristics, okay? Of course, humans, we, we are mammals too, okay? Mammals, after they are fed with milk by their mothers when they grow up, they can be three different types. You already know this, but we are going to review. The first type, depending on what they eat, is that they can be herbivores. Herbivores are those animals that feed on plants. The second group is carnivores and are those animals that can that eat meat. And the third group, let's see if you know, do you remember? Yes, omnivores are the group of animals, of mammals that eat meat and plants. So they eat everything, doesn't matter what. In what groups are humans, do you remember? Yes, very good. We are omnivores because we eat all types of foods. As we have said at the beginning, all these are mammals, but all of them have very different characteristics from each other. That's why we are going to see the types of mammals that there exist. And we are going to classify some of the animals. The first group that we can find, sorry that this takes a little bit. Okay, now it's clean. So the first group that we can find, it's called monotremes. Monotremes are those, the group of animals where mammals lay eggs, okay? They lay eggs. However, always remember, be careful, that they always feed milk to their babies, okay? Always, they feed milk to the babies, but they are born, they lay eggs. One of the examples of this is the platypus. The other group of mammals is called marsupials. Marsupials are Viviparos Well, of course, monotremes, sorry, if they lay eggs, they are oviparos, remember. So, marsupials are viviparos, but their offspring, their babies, are born underdeveloped. That means 
that when they are born they are not ready to survive and yes to live outside so what do they do they are transferred to a pouch okay so they are born undeveloped underdeveloped So they go into a pouch. A pouch is what kangaroos have. This is the pouch, okay? So they are they go to the pouch and then they develop inside and once they are ready they can go out. But they are born they are viviparous then since they are underdeveloped they live in the mother's pouch. And also, always they are, remember, feed with milk from the mother. And the last example is placental mammals. Placental mammals are also viviparous. And this group is the most common one, this is the one that we know. They are born, they form inside, in, they form inside the uterus of the mother. And once when they are ready, well, and they are protected by the placenta. And when they are ready, they give birth to these animals. Some examples of these are uh, horses, cows, dogs, cats, okay? Another group of, another example of marsupials that I want you to know that it's very important are koalas, okay? They are also born into a pouch. Well, they are born and then they are gone into the pouch. And this is all about mammals. This is all about mammals, but before we finish this video, I have one question for you about marsupials. So, when babies are born, they, we know that they are viviparous, and then they go into the pouch. How do they go into this pouch? Do they go with the help of their mom? Do they go by themselves? How do they get to this pouch? I want you to investigate and tell me how marsupials get to their mother's pouch. Okay, so investigate a little bit. It's going to be very curious and very interesting. You can look for videos too to look for your answer and Write it, write your answer and be ready to tell me tomorrow. Have a good afternoon. See you tomorrow. Bye.